All right, thank you. Now, uh, I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is, and one more thing. I frequently say that our community has a lot to offer, and the problems of AI are global problems. And so with that, we are making a surprise announcement that is not on the schedule. And from the people that brought you the internet, DARPA, I would like to introduce Perry Adams. And DARPA is seeking our help in an initiative of their next generation AI defensive uh, technology. So I'd like to introduce Perry from DARPA to explain what this next generation challenge is and how we can help. Perry? So as Jeff said, I'm Perry Adams from DARPA. And so in an increasingly interconnected world, software undergirds everything from public utilities to our financial systems. But as the software enables modern life and drives productivity, it also creates an expanding attack surface for malicious actors. Now, this includes critical infrastructure, which is especially vulnerable to cyber attack, given the challenges of securing <clears throat> sprawling software systems. Defenders are tasked with protecting a daunting maze of technology, and today, they don't have the tools capable of doing it at that scale. Now, I don't think I need to explain this to this audience, and that's why I wanted to announce this here today. Black Hat is where so many of the industry's leaders and experts gather every year to drive innovation for defense. <clears throat> Cybersecurity is always a race between offense and defense, and there's no silver bullet that will solve cybersecurity, as all of you know. <clears throat> but recent technological advances do offer promising new ways of ensuring that we can keep defense one step ahead. The gains in AI, when used responsibly, have remarkable potential to secure our code. And we do have to keep defense one step ahead. And AI does offer a promising new path to do so. We've talked a lot today about some of the concerns around AI, but we also want to leverage AI for solving key societal challenges. But of course, the promise of what AI could do for good isn't enough. We need a forcing function, something that brings together top thinkers like the ones in this room in both AI and cybersecurity to show how AI could be used for good, could be used to solve key challenges. So I got into this space when I started playing capture the flag. I was majoring in computer science in undergrad. And that's what brought me into cybersecurity. And it was through CTF that I learned how vulnerabilities worked, the ways in which a vulnerability could be manipulated by a hacker to get into a system. <clears throat> and the first time I competed in DEF CON CTF finals, which is really seen as the Olympics of hacking, <clears throat> I was competing against and working with some of the best minds in cybersecurity and being challenged to tackle a diverse set of challenges. People with a range of skill sets from low-level reverse engineering to cryptography to <clears throat> application security all work together to solve CTF challenges. And it's an honor to work with such a diverse and talented group of individuals. And so now I'm lucky enough to be one of the current organizers of DEF CON CTF. And what I found, what I believe deeply, is that challenges have the power to drive innovation and bring together diverse talents to solve key challenges, which is why I'm excited to be here today to announce a challenge that I hope will do just that. DARPA's AI Cyber Challenge will ask the best and the brightest in AI and cybersecurity <clears throat> to defend the software on which all Americans rely. This is going to be a major two-year-long effort in which AICC will ask competitors to design novel AI systems to rapidly find and fix vulnerabilities in critical code. And DARPA will be awarding nearly $20 million in prizes to the teams with the best systems. In addition to empower entrepreneurial innovation, 
DARPA will be making available up to $1 million to up to seven small businesses to compete. Now, the White House considers AICC part of their commitment to ensure AI is safe and contributes to the safety of Americans. This is an opportunity to use the technology to make a real, tractable difference, to build something that can achieve dramatic structural change. When speaking about AICC yesterday, Ann Neuberger, the Deputy National Security Advisor, offered an old cybersecurity joke that I think you all here would appreciate. She asked, why don't programmers like nature? It's because there's too many bugs. And she said that we hope with this new DARPA challenge, we will spur such incredible innovation that we can find and fix so many bugs that that pun no longer makes sense. So AICC is a significant two-year-long effort. This spring, teams will compete to qualify for the semifinal competition, which will be held at DEF CON in 2024. The top five semifinalists will win $2 million each and the opportunity to spend a year advancing their technology ahead of the final competition at DEF CON in 2025. To win the first place prize of $4 million, finalists must build a system that can rapidly build a system <clears throat> that can rapidly defend critical infrastructure from attack. And so this challenge is an opportunity to apply some of our greatest technical resources to protecting Americans. And that's why I'm excited to have the top four AI companies, Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI, join me for this effort. This is a first-of-its-kind collaboration between top AI companies to enable competitors to develop AI-driven systems to solve key challenges. They will be making cutting-edge technology available to competitors to build on top of. So we can explore what's possible when experts in cybersecurity and AI have access to a suite of cross-company resources with combined unprecedented caliber. In addition, what's important to the success here isn't just resources, but realism. So we need a competition that shapes innovation around real-world problems. We want to create systems that automatically defend any kind of software from attack, from that used in commercial industry to that used in life-saving medical devices. Open source software makes up a majority of code we run every day, and it plays a deeply important role. Thus, I'm similarly delighted that AICC will collaborate closely with the Open Source Security Foundation, a project of the Linux Foundation, which will serve as a challenge advisor, helping design a competition that addresses real-world challenges. If we're successful, I hope to see AICC not only produce the next generation of cybersecurity tools, but show how AI can be used to better society by defending its critical underpinnings. Now, full challenge details will be available on the website, aicyberchallenge.com. This includes all the information you need to participate. Small businesses, I encourage you to look at the funded track. The Cyber Award is publicly available right now in pre-release and will go live next week. And finally, on Friday at DEF CON at 2.30, I will be hosting a panel with representatives from all of our collaborators to discuss AICC. And so for the media here, I will be joined by Anthropic and OpenSSF uh, to answer any questions you might have uh, from 10.30 to 12 in the conference room Oceanside D across the hallway. Thank you all so much. I'll give it back to Jeff.